everybody, Miss Winnie here. I am here to show you what my project is for today for the RV. I am in Arizona. It is hotter than blazes. It's mitted 102 today. Yesterday was 106. So I have decided that I'm going to cover my front windscreen with a reflective tape to try to help um, the AC. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I bought this. Um, Reflexic, um, and it's used, and it's got like 24 different uses. Um, I'm hoping it does the trick. This one is the 48 by 25. My windscreen is 38 inches high and 100 inches across, and this is 25 feet um, of which is 100 square foot. So the plan for today is to cut this up and make a sunscreen for the front window and possibly the side windows um, and maybe if I have enough left for the car when it sits outside. Um, my AC is working so hard and it's a residential AC and I only have it set at 80 inside the RV so um, it's just working really hard to keep it at 80. It popped on about a dozen times last night uh, through the night. It only cooled off to 86. I only have a couple more weeks of this weather, but in the meantime, I wanna do everything that I can to help the RV. So I'll come back and show you the process here in a few minutes. I'm told I need an uh, X-Acto knife, a ruler, and it said light goggles or something, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna need my glasses to see. So I'm gonna get this laid out and put up, and I'll be back to show you guys what I've done. Okay, what I've done is I measured my front windscreen. It's 38 inches. Um, I'm putting this 38 and a half because I want it to kind of tuck in and hold itself in place. So I've marked it with um, a black Sharpie, um, and you can see, let me find my first mark, which is here. That's 38 and a half inches. And I marked it all the way down, and then I marked the 100 inch line on the far end now and I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it. Okay I took my scissors and I cut along my lines and now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the window and hopefully it fits. Okay I have the first panel up and just with this one panel up I already feel a difference in the RV. Um, I did not tape it or anything I just kind of tucked it up underneath the valance that's up there and down and around the bottom. I'm going to put some on the side two windows as well because the sun does come up in the east on this side and then it sets in the west on this side so i'll cover those as well with this film all right i got all the panels up now i do have my black shades down as well i did leave a small gap at the top i do like a little bit of light coming in but not a whole lot um, and that may eventually get covered up depending on the weather what i did was and tried to instead of trying to cut them specifically to fit in the windows I kind of rednecked it. I took a little bit of Gorilla Tape and I taped it to the frame and then I taped the two pieces together onto the bigger piece um, and we'll see if that holds but it is made a noticeable difference already in the temperature of the RV. Um, does make it a little darker so I'll put a little lamp up here up front um, but I'm gonna say it made a huge difference. I bought this at Home Depot. It was back um in the insulation for home area um, it was $43 for this full roll and I have plenty of a roll left um, so I'm gonna do my two back windows in my bedroom because those get afternoon Sun and I'm also gonna make some for the car um, because it's sitting out in the heat um, and I don't want it to get too hot and pop a window I'll probably make some at one as well for my door um, because I can just kind of work it in there. Um, it has made a difference. Hopefully it'll help the AC not have to work so hard for the next few weeks until it starts to cool off. But anyway, if you guys like the video, hit subscribe. I'm going to be putting up more and more um, on my journeys and things I do to Eric to kind of fix him up. He is a 2004 coach. Um, ran as well as can be expected here to Arizona. Um, and I'm going to keep him as long as he'll run because the estimation on him that I will get from trading him in is only like $15,000 and that's just not enough for the type of coach he is. 
So I'll keep him until I, he can't run anymore, and then I will get something new. But anyway, just FYI, if you're in hot climates, this reflective, um, reflective X, I guess it's called, it's, um, it's got a code on it, this code, and again, it's called reflective, and on the thing it says you can, oops, you can put it in your garage door, in crawl spaces, around your hot water heater, behind a radiator, on knee, knee walls, that kind of thing. I wanted to come outside and show you guys what it looks like from outside. It doesn't look awful, which is kind of what I was going for. Um, this is a 55 and older community, and I didn't want it to look, you know, too redneckish. I'm already in a a swanky resort with a non-swanky RV. But we're gonna do our best and make it work. Um, Eric needs a bath in the worst way. He had some bug damage on the way up here, so I gotta get that cleaned off of him. But it looks good, hopefully it'll work good. We are having a bit of an overcast day today. So, and again, that's the Reflexip up in the windows. But for me, it was just trying to keep the RV cool. I don't have the AC set real high. I think I have it set at 80. Yeah, it's at 80. Um, it's 81 currently in here right now because it can't seem to cool it down. If I could buy enough of it to coat the top of the RV, I would. Um, just to try to help cool it down. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, it's going to cool off here. Today, it's only estimated to get to 102, which is, I guess, a great thing. And tomorrow it's going to be 94, so that's going to be more like Florida temperatures. Um, but other than that, everything's going well, um, finding my way around, and I hope this helps you guys. If you, if it does, and you like, want to see more of my videos, hit subscribe, and I'll be putting up some more. Take care, love y'all, see you on the next trip.